Hello, everyone. So today, we will discuss a problem from algebra, uh, particularly from polynomials. It's a very simple but interesting problem. It came up in the ISI BSTAT BREMAP entrance. Uh, it was objective problem number 26. Perhaps you're aware of the Indian Statistical Institute. It is one of the best places to study statistics and mathematics in India. You can check the link in the description for more information on it at chinta.com. Chinta has courses on ISI and CMI entrances. It also has courses on mathematical Olympiads. Uh, we'll be happy to help you if you need it. So let's talk about this problem. It says that there are four roots, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4, of this equation x to the power 4 plus x squared plus 1. Notice very carefully, x to the power 4 plus x squared plus 1 is a fourth degree polynomial. So by the fundamental theorem of algebra, there are four roots of this equation. And the problem says those four roots are denoted by alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, and alpha 4. Our objective is to find out the value of alpha 1 raised to the power 4 plus alpha 2 raised to the power 4 plus alpha 3 raised to the power 4 plus alpha 4 raised to the power 4. So some of the fourth powers of the roots, that's what we want to do. Let's see how we can go about this. This is a very sweet problem in some sense because there is a trick which you can use to highly simplify the problem. So let's carefully write down the equation one more time. It says it's x to the power 4 plus x squared plus 1 equal to 0. And the roots are alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4. This means that if we plug in alpha 1 into this equation, that is, if we write alpha 1, if we replace x by alpha 1, so we get alpha 1 raised to the power 4 plus alpha 1 squared plus 1, this is also equal to 0. That's the meaning of roots of an equation. You can replace x by the root and the equation will be the left hand side will be equal to the right hand side which means that alpha 1 raised to the power 4 is minus alpha 1 square minus 1 minus alpha 1 square minus 1 okay so we will do the same thing with other roots we will get alpha 2 raised to the power 4 equals to minus alpha 2 squared minus 1. Alpha 3 raised to the power 4 is equal to minus alpha 3 squared minus 1. And alpha 4 raised to the power 4 equals to minus alpha 4 squared minus 1. Simply by replacing x with the root, we get this. So we are actually using the equation given to us to simplify what we want to do. And it's actually simplified because we wanted to find out, so our goal is to find out alpha 1 raised to the power 4 plus alpha 2 raised to the power 4, alpha 3 raised to the power 4 plus alpha 4 raised to the power 4. This is what we wanted to find out. But now we know that this is equal to square of alpha 1 minus 1, negative of square of alpha 1 minus 1. So let's replace that and see what we get. We get minus alpha 1 squared minus 1, minus alpha 2 squared minus 1, minus alpha 3 squared minus 1, minus alpha 4 squared minus 1. Right? So from fourth powers, from fourth powers, we have reduced the problem to second powers which is a simplification, right? So all we need to find out now is negative of alpha 1 square, alpha 2 square, alpha 3 square, alpha 4 square, minus 4. So if we can find out 
if we can find out the value of this, we would be done, right? So at this point, we will be using something called the Vetus formulas. So maybe you are familiar with it. The sum of roots, the product of roots, these are these are given in the Vetus formula. So what is how do we find out this thing? So what we do is we will be calculating alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 plus alpha 4 raised to the power 2. And we can expand it out to get alpha 1 square plus alpha 2 square plus alpha 3 square plus alpha 4 square. So you can check that this is true. Plus 2 times alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 1, alpha 3, alpha 1, alpha 4, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 2, alpha 4, plus alpha 3, alpha 4. So all the roots taken two at a time. This is how we expand it. So our goal is to find out this part. Now, what do we know about the left-hand side? Well, left-hand side is sum of roots whole square. So let's get back to the equation. x to the power 4 plus x squared plus 1. So x to the power 4 plus 1 times x squared plus 1. This is equal to 0. That's the equation. So I can now sort of artificially introduce the x cube and artificially introduce the x. So the sum of roots, the sum of roots is simply the coefficient of x cube with a negative sign. So this is negative of alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 plus alpha 4. This is just Vieta's formula. Sum of roots is negative of this x cube uh, this x cube term and what is the product of roots what is the product of roots well uh, product of roots taken two at a time is simply this this is alpha 1 plus uh, alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 1 alpha 3 alpha 1 alpha 4 plus alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 2 alpha 4 plus alpha 3 alpha 4 so this quantity right here is simply 1, and this is 0. So now let's plug this in and get the final value, final result. That is 0 square equal to this quantity plus 2 times, this is 1. Just found it. It's 1. So this sum of squares of the roots is just negative 2. I just bring this 2 to the other side, and we get negative 2. So let's get back to this thing that we wanted to find out. So this one is negative 2. We just found it. And this is minus 4. So what we have is negative of negative 2, which is 2 minus 4, which gives us negative 2 as the final answer. So the final answer uh, to the question that we were interested in is negative 2. I hope you enjoyed this problem. It's a very nice problem with some tricks and the application of Vietas formula. Uh, we will solve more problems like this in the future videos. Stay subscribed to this channel if you like it. And let us know in the comment section if you have any new problems in mind. Okay? All right. Thank you. Take care.